Namaste, hello. Thank you for joining me for prenatal hip prana, yoga with belly dance. So most of you know the obvious benefits of yoga. It helps you relax. Uh, it has a meditative aspect and uh, it helps stretch you out and makes your body feel good. Um, but, and especially for prenatal, you know, the obvious benefits can help open up your hips, help you relax, focus on your breathing. But belly dance actually is one of the oldest uh, ways to prep your body for birth and delivery. So some of the movements that we'll do here on the floor or maybe even on the hands and knees or standing, you could actually use while you're in labor to help. Um, help the process along so they tell you even walking when you're in labor is a good idea just to get things going but even here when we do these undulations body rolls and things like that it'll be really good um, to use that as prep uh, as long with the breath work for your delivery so Hiprana really helps with your lower back uh, when you're pregnant helps you open up your hips and it's just a nice way to have fun exercise and it's a spiritual practice um, and I hope you enjoy have an easy breezy delivery namaste Namaste. Let's get started with a seated meditation, just a brief one. So just close your eyes, sit up nice and tall, bring one hand to your heart and one to your belly. So just feel your body, feel your baby in your belly. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just keep your breath nice and long here and through your practice, through your day, and through your delivery. Okay, so we're just using this as practice here, so we remember to breathe nicely off of the mat. So here, send yourself some love, your baby some love, relax, and just have fun. If you'd like to set an intention for practice for yourself, do that here. Another time, deep, deep breath. Exhale. Okay. Open your eyes when you're ready. Okay. All right, so let's get started with our soles of feet together to touch. So we're, we're gonna be focusing a lot on the hips and our back. So your feet, your soles of your feet are together. Keep your heels as close to your hips as you can. Lean your chest forward a bit and you're finding length through your spine, so you should maybe feel some release through your lower back as well. Okay. Okay, so just leaning forward, and then lift up and back. And just a little bit rock forward, lean, and then back. Okay, this time we'll go forward, and then round out. So you're using your obliques, go to your right, and then round out a little or a lot just depending on your body how your body feels you're just rocking in a little rocking motion in a circular motion so it should feel nice for your back for your hips and then also just kind of rocking a little bit for the baby okay just keep your rib cage lifting from your hips if you want to add more movement where you make it actually just more like a rocking movement, you could do that too. Whatever feels good to you. All right, let's go to the other side. All right, when you make your way forward, let's around and back. And around, okay, good. Okay, so inhales and exhale round. So remember, breathe in and out. And we'll come back to your center. Okay, so from here, lift your chest up and then just round back. Okay, so up and round back. Sort of like we were doing earlier, but now we're gonna do like an undulation. So you're bringing your chest forward, lifting up and then rounding back. So up, and as you round back, squeeze your abs from top to bottom. Okay, so have this idea of up and then pushing down. 
So lifting, expanding through cage lifts in your spine, each vertebra widens away from one another, and then you roll down. So sort of uh, mimicking um, the birthing process is up and then down. And if you want to have some fun with it, you can kind of play around and go from side to side too, up and around. So circle up. It's like a vertical circle. Okay, up. Okay, and then back to center. We'll go one center, one to the side, and center, and to the side. One more round, center, side, center, and side, and just center, and then down. Okay, bring your right hand to the floor, and stretch your left arm up and over. Okay, so from here you can just stretch. If you want to play around with some belly dance undulating wrists, you could bend your wrist and then you arch. So it's here you are arching. Arch, arch. Okay, stretch, stretch. And just bringing the hand down the body. Okay, one more time. Stretch. Okay, other side. Okay, again, just stretch like that if you'd like. Undulate your wrist. Down, good. And undulate. Okay, all right, very nice. So here, let's bring our legs out wide. So your legs can be a little bit closer or more wide depending on uh, your belly, so you might want to keep your legs a little bit wider. We're just going to fold forward. Okay, you could reach for your shins or let your hands fall, or reach for your feet. Okay, just take a really deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so sitting up, ankle to knee, another hip opener. So bring your right ankle over your left knee. So here you can stay, if you're more open in your hips and you know you can do a double pigeon, your shins will stack. However, that might be a little bit much. So depending where you're at, if you're, if you're here, your shins are directly on top of one another and your knees are bent, or your um, feet are bent. So either way. Okay. You can use your hand to press down in your thigh. Just take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, here too, we could lift the chest up and then round back. Up and then back. Just do two more up and then roll back. And one more up and then back. All right, other side. So bring your left ankle over your right knee. Again, your right leg is straight underneath or your shins are here. Now, if you have a block or something, you could bring it underneath your knee if it's still pretty high. Okay, just to support the leg. Okay, so just fold forward, flex your feet. Okay, deep breath in. And breathe out. And breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, and again, inhale. Exhale, round. Up. Down. Very nice, check out your legs. Okay, all right. So, let's do a some cat cows. So this is really nice for your back, and especially to relieve the low back discomfort that you may be experiencing. So with cat cows, you want your shoulders right over your wrists. So I'll show you from the side. So your shoulders are right over your wrists, and you see your hips are right over your knees. Okay, so regular cat cow in yoga, we inhale, arch the spine and look up. So here we're arched, belly drops, tailbone lifts, okay, exhale round. So you squeeze your abs in, navel is coming towards your spine. Okay, inhale and arch, and exhale around. Okay, here we'll do some cement truck rolls. So it's inhale, you arch, look up, and then exhale, round, 
So you do a circular motion with your belly. Okay, inhale, arch up, and exhale, round. Okay, two more this side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Okay, inhale, center, let's go the other way. And round as you exhale. Okay, inhale, exhale. So you could even use this at, when you're in labor as well. Even on hands and knees, and then round. And then just come back to neutral. You can wiggle out your hips. Okay, and from here, downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, we're upside down V-shape. Okay, so you really press your heels down. If this is too much, you could just lower onto your knees. Here too, we could paddle out the feet. Take a really deep breath in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. Okay, walk your feet towards your hands. So here we can have the feet a little wider than hip width apart, just depending on how much space you need for your belly. Okay, and we'll take ragdoll. You can just sway. Okay, bend one knee and then your other knee. Bend and bend. Okay, and then just slowly come up to stand and you're, you'll be rocking from side to side. So you're bending one knee and the other still. So it's right knee bends and then left knee. So just making this nice swaying motion. So the babies love this, the swaying motions. Very soothing, bend. And bend. And then when you bring your hip to the one direction, your leg, leg straightens. Okay. And tabletop arms, your arms, your forearms are parallel with the floor, and your middle finger and your, your thumb touches your middle finger. So just instead of just holding your arms out or however else, it just makes a little bit more of an elegant looking hand. Okay. And we can do snake arm. Right, left. So it's a shoulder, elbow, wrist. Shoulder, elbow, wrist. Snake arms can come forward, forward, and up, up, forward. Okay, let's move into our Hiprana sequencing. So we'll do some more yoga postures leading into the belly dance movements in the yoga postures, the undulations, upper and lower body movements just to uh, get the body prep for your labor and yeah, have fun. Okay. So here we are. Forward. sides and lower your hands to the ground. Now you could use blocks if you've got them. We're lunging the left leg back okay, to a low lunge and your left knee comes to the ground. From here, snake arms. Okay. And you can bring your arms down and here too. Undulate up and round. Two. Three and four. Okay. Lizard pose more for our hip now. The foot, your right foot moves more out to the right. So here you can stay and just stretch. If it's available to you, you could bring your arms. Ideally, your right shoulder is going into your right um, knee. Maybe you're here, maybe you're on your blocks, or maybe you're up here. Either way, you should feel this up your left hip flexor and then your right. Your right foot. Okay, take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Okay, arms are right. Arms are right. Three. And four. Okay, circle with your chest up and around to the right. Two. Three. Four. Other way. Circle. 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 And circle. Very good. All right, from here, bring your hands to the floor. Toe heel your right foot in a bit. 
pick up your left knee and come up to a warrior one. Okay, warrior one. Your hips are squaring forward and your left shoulder's moving forward, left and right shoulder's moving back. So here you are in warrior one. Okay, so I'm really trying to, I'm scoring off towards the camera. So, warrior one. Right knee's right over your ankle. So this is nice for your hips. Okay, we're gonna do our snake arms here too. So just reach forward and forward and forward. are actually opening up to the side of your, uh, to the side, to make external rotation through the arms. Okay, here, snake arm, right, and left, right, and left, snake arm, and sway, snake arm, sway, and here, come on up, and here, pivot your toes towards the front, Goddess pose, so really deep hip opener. So your outward rotation to your thighs. Knees are right over your uh, ankles. Okay, so this is your typical goddess pose in yoga. So when your knees are about 90 degrees, your elbows 90 degrees. Okay, we're gonna do a lot here. So what we'll do with the arms, snake arms. Snake arms. Straighten your left leg as your right arm reaches. So you're swaying. Sway, sway. Engage your thighs, your glutes, and just let your ribcage lift, moving away from your hips. And up. Okay, you can do your snake arms forward again. Forward and up and up. So just find length and space throughout your belly, abdomen. And then just bend both knees again. You can keep your hands maybe down towards your hips, or you can keep them out, up to you. So lift your chest up and drop, up and drop. So again, undulate, undulate. So have that idea of pushing down, squeeze up, and then squeeze down from top to bottom. Top your repeat pulls in and down. Go right, like we did see it, and left. But let's straighten the leg. And straight, straight. Roll down, up, and roll down. Up, and then roll down. And then down. Okay. Now, okay, just through the center, up. So straighten out your legs. We'll do some hips. So we can bring the legs a little closer. So we're, we're gonna tuck the pelvis under, squeeze through your lower abs, and release. So here you are going. Squeeze, and then release. You see how my back's arched now? Now I squeeze, and then it's flat. So just tuck and release. Tuck and release. Tuck and tuck. Okay, so now you can do this in a circular motion as well. But we're gonna go tuck and out. Tuck in and push forward. Tuck in and push forward. In, forward. And let's reverse. Tuck in, back and up. Down and forward and up. Down and up. Okay. And so now we're gonna combine both the upper body and the lower body. So take it up, drop, hip, drop. So chest forward and up and back, hips forward and up and back. Up, back, up, back. Now circle it up. Up, you're leaning your weight 
it towards your front of the feet, and then leaning it towards the back of your feet. You squeeze your abs from top to bottom, squeezing your lower abs. Your lower back is flat, and then you release. So it's like you're doing like a figure, like a number eight shape with your body right like that. Like an S, a wave, S shape. Okay, so it's like, let's go forward. And we'll start from our lizard pose. So that's the one where your knees, your right knee's a bit down now. Your knee, your left knee's gonna be outside your shoulder. So if you wanna just stretch out, have your hands down, maybe on blocks, or you're here. Okay. So you're feeling that up through your hip flexor and left hip. Okay, ready? So we'll undulate. Up and back. Two. Three. And four. Circle in one direction. One. Two, three, four, other way. One, two, three, and four. Okay, lower your hands. For Anjaniyasana variation, so now your knee is uh, going to be inside your shoulders if you had your hands down. Just step forward to a forward fold. And sway yourself side to side, bend your one knee, your other, and then just rock and come up to stand. All right, here we are, side to side. So we'll put a little combo together of some of the things we've done. So just rocking side to side. And we'll add a figure eight to this. So you're going right and left. So we're going to do the one side. Let's just do the right side. Scoop up and up. We're going to be doing vertical figure eights here. So you're on your left foot. Bend and up. Bend and up. So just squeeze your oblique as you come up. Squeeze your glute. Other side. Bend and bend. So it's a nice big circle here. Now, alternating, now it's our figure eight, down and up, down and up. So you could use your arms, or you could just kind of hold your belly and sway yourself side to side. Scoop and up. So it's like you're between two walls, your hips are just moving up and down. Just nice and slow. So you want to avoid doing very fast, jerky type of uh, belly dance movements. When you're pregnant, it's very stimulating on the reproductive system. So. We do the swaying motions. The baby love it. It's really good for your um, your body. And then opening up, loosening up for your midsection and for your hips. Okay, let's add a little combo. So let's do our chest circle. We did. We did the sitting seated. Okay. Let's go the other way. Now for the combination, you can go to the chest circle, and then the hip, chest circle, and hip, chest circle, and hip, chest circle, and hip. other side, chest circle, hip, we're doing them differently now, they're coming up and out, chest circle, up and out. Chest circle, up and out, chest circle, up and out. Okay, now, there's, so we'll take a walk with this, but first we'll go dipping down and up like we did a minute ago. Okay, so chest and hip. Okay, so we're going to go chest and hip, but we're walking with it. Let's start walking first. We're going to just walk down and up, down and up. Down and up, down and up, switch, down and lift, down, lift up, and switch, down and up, two, three, four. 
or we're going to switch by doing chest circle to the left and then down and up. Two, three, four, chest to the right and hips to the right. Two, three, four, chest to the left and down and up. Switching it up now. We're going to go down, two, three, four. We're going to do figure eight with the left to the right. One more time. And then now, chest circle. Okay? Left dip four times. One, two, three, four. Figure eight. Start with your right. One more time. And now chest to the right. All right, ready? And then right side. Two, three, four. Figure eight left. One more time. Chest circle left. Now hips go left. One, two, three, four. Figure eight right. One more time chest right. Let's break it down. We're going to do twice. Hip to the right. One figure eight. One chest. And hip twice. Left. One figure eight. One chest to the right. And hips right. Twice. Figure eight left. Chest left once. One more time to the left. One. Two, figure eight, and chest. And just give yourself a little wiggle. Not too quickly, just a little bit. Slide side to side. And stretch up. And stretch up. Bring your hands to your heart center. Bring your hands to your heart. Hope you enjoyed your practice. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.